Okay. Let's just run in the house and then he should leave us alone. In theory, anyway. <laughs> Will you go away? I did not invite you to my party. We gotta kill this guy on principle. There. Now we just made things worse for ourselves, but that's okay. It makes me feel better. Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to get started building our base. So the plan here is going to be to uh, set up the base and just kind of follow the uh, the quest line far enough along uh, to continue advancing it. Now it's not my intention to um, actually make our home, our big base, our main base, whatever you want to call it, on this planet. <clears throat> but um, it's not a bad place to start. Uh, it does have nasty sentinels, so we have to deal with them, but on the other hand, um, we also get Pugnium and Rep and all that kind of thing from killing them when we have to. And uh, if, you know, if the really big bad guys come along, I just run it, either run away from them or run into the building until they go away. So that has a, it's, it's a pain in the butt, but it's not something that we can't handle. I generally prefer to deal with um, sentinels that are a pain in the butt than really nasty weather on a planet. If we're going to be, you know, heck, <clears throat> sticking around there for a long time. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, don't forget to also share, too. I really appreciate that. And uh, leave a comment, too. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so, I believe uh, I've spent uh, quite a bit of time off camera uh, just kind of farming stuff. So, I've got a nice supply of of salvage data modules, so I've got those there, and then I've also got another 15, so we've got a total of 30, which should be plenty for us to advance the quest. And um, we're, we're up to about 2.3 mil and change, and I think that's pretty much it. So I've got uh, quite a bit of carbon here, uh, two, almost three stacks of carbon, so we're going to use that to build the house. And that's, yeah, that's about where we're at. Now, I did some uh, cobalt mining I've got a full stack of that and some of this uh, because I actually have been watching uh, Hawks Gaming, which by the way, he's a, he's a really uh, cool YouTuber and does uh, how-tos on No Man's Sky. So if you guys haven't checked him out, check out Hawks Gaming. He's really awesome. Uh, but anyways, he's got, a, he's got a video where he shows how you basically, when you're starting in the game or early in the game, where you um, take uh, mine up a bunch of cobalt, take it up to the station, and then basically crash the price you know, sell it all and then buy it back up from the ships coming in at a really low price and then basically, you know, move on to uh, the next system and continue that process or down to a planet. And in doing so, you can make a nice little bun uh, bunch of money in the early game and then you can, you can continue to follow that same basic uh, process with more expensive stuff later in the game. So it's really, really been interesting and really eye-opening watching in his videos. So uh, check him out if you haven't already. But anyway, that's kind of what all that cobalt's there. I might, I'm, I think I'm going to, and I'll do, you know, most of that off camera, too, if I do it. Um, but that's what that cobalt's for. But anyway, that's not what we're about today. So what we're about today is getting our base built um, so that we can continue advancing the quest. Because I do want to get back to the quest. We've gotten a little bit off track. Not, not bad off track, uh, but, you know, I wanted to raise the money so we could get the, you know, the multi-tool that we got out of here. Um, this is a... A, a class A, if you haven't seen my previous uh, videos, this is a class A 24 slot multi tool that we found in this settlement. And so that's why I decided to kind of set up shop here. And we farmed up, you know, some credits by doing some dogfighting and, uh, you know, more tetra cobalt, that sort of thing, so that we could buy this thing. And oh, that's the other thing I want to tell you guys is I pretty much got all my upgrades taken care of too. I did that off camera. So all of these upgrades that we bought are installed and working. I think that, I think we might have, yeah, this one we need antimatter, so that's another reason why I want to get going on the quest. Um, so that's the only one I don't have upgraded, but everything else uh, we've upgraded uh, of all of the technology upgrades that you can buy from this particular station and from the planetary stations. Hey, what's going on, buddy? So we've purchased everything from uh, this feller here. Interloper, I knew Maxi at the bop, the the boop, bop, 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 So all of the all of the blueprints uh, we have have bought. Okay, uh, so we own all of those. 
And oh, you know what? That's the other thing. I need to do. I need to do this one too. I forgot about that one. Um, let's look at that actually for a second. I might. I might need to uh, be closer to the ship though. Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? How's that uh, infection going that you have? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go to the ship and to technology, and we could we could put a rocket launcher on here too. But I'm actually a little more interested in this. See, now we're going to need antimatter for this, too. So, uh, and we'll have to buy some more wiring limbs because I don't have any of those. But I want to get that going because that allows us to access the inventory of our ship from a long ways away, which is going to be super useful. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here with the... Oh, shit. That guy's still there. The next part of the quest that wants us to start building the house. So, that's basically what's here. Let me go into the the log and yeah that's what we have selected we don't have any secondary missions going on right at the moment so we're going to construct the base we've already deployed the base computer so now we have to start uh, building the actual base itself so i guess we'll just um you know build it off over here in this flat area there's no reason not to i'm not you know too terribly concerned about you know this base being anything super special it's just enough really to you know to get uh, to advance the quest and I will I will set up a a, um, a terminus here so that way you know if we ever need to come back uh, to this particular location we can do so um, so let's get started with the build menu and we want the wooden floor and that's what we have here so let's set this in place now I don't know how to access the C menu you know the the fly menu in VR. I haven't figured that out, so I guess we're just going to have to kind of eyeball this. I'd like it to be, you know, straight with the landing platform more or less. So if we we kind of line it up this way and then try not to move our wrist too much until we get out to about here, and we'll put that down. Okay, good. So we're we're going to make this a. Um, I think I'm just. I think I'm just gonna make it a. Oh wow! I think that's the first time we've seen, seen that on this planet. So I think we're just gonna do a three by three, for this. Oh, will you just leave me the hell alone? All right, this guy, this guy wants to uh, mix it up with us though. Um, so let's get this out. And we already have our scatter blaster on. All right, come here. There we go. <laughs> now, of course, that's going to call some more in, but we need to get inside anyways because of this nasty weather here. So let's jump in the ship. Okay, guys. Um, storm's done, and I'm just kind of waiting for those sentinels to bugger off. Looks like he's kind of slowly moving that- oh shit, he's coming back. They're both coming back. Well, let's let them do their thing, and if they detect me, I'll worry about that when the time comes. Okay, I'm going to pull these back up and redo them because I did have them a little crooked, and it's just going to bother my OCD here. So what we want to do is go into uh, the build menu, and uh, hold down A, and delete all these. There we go. Yeah, we got a nice little area cleared anyway. So what I want to do is um, hop up here. Life support's low? Really? Yeah, that does happen, doesn't it? Uh, quick menu. Life support. There we go. Okay. So, let's try this again, but this time I'm going to kind of use the uh, the railing here as a guide. To try and make it a little straighter. It's really hard to see though with this uh, this grass in the way, but I think I I know what we'll do. Let's just put one down here. It looks reasonably straight, and then we'll put one there. And maybe we'll put one there, and then we'll um, 
pick these two back up and then we'll start the base out that way because it because it, it is a little close to the landing pad I think there okay that takes care of that and yeah like I said I'm not really planning on doing much with this base uh, we're mostly just gonna set a terminus up in here and maybe not really much of anything else uh, we'll see so let's go back to here now and we want the door and we'll put the door right here by the by the dock and maybe we'll have a back door too I'm stupid uh, he's bugging me again All right, let's, instead of fighting him let's just draw him off because otherwise otherwise uh, they're gonna delay me for a long time again Let's just pull him away. Come on, dummy. Get away from my house. Maybe what we'll do, too, is we will... See if we can distract them. Oh, I got hit by that. Try and get him up here further. Okay, now, let's go back around this way. And these plants actually give oxygen and carbon, so I'm going to grab some of those while we're running around. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll just go this way. So one of them, one of them is up there. The other one's probably quite a ways over too. Here, let's do a save while we're here. Uh, one thing, if you guys didn't know this, this, this do doohickey here, uh, will do a manual save, whereas the save that's in your ship's an auto save. That's important if you, you know, if you want to do a save that you want to be able to reload later on, because the auto saves will just override each other. Um, I didn't know that until actually uh, just the other day, so. Okay, so let's get uh, this put away and back to our build menu. And we're just going to put the walls in now. Cannot build object too close. What? There we go. One thing I've kind of noticed is that building in VR is a little bit... Uh, wonky, I guess, for lack of a better word. And so when we get to the point where we build our our more permanent base or our bigger base I'm gonna oh, damn it uh, I'll probably do that in normal mode and not in VR mode all right here we've got to I keep keep doing it here let's get rid of those there you go so I mean it's it's not too bad I guess but it's w one place that I had trouble on the multiplayer uh, our multiplayer save was, you know, hooking up the wiring. I could do it, but, you know, to be really, really precise was uh, a bit of a challenge sometimes. Come on. Oh, are we... We're really that low on carbon? I guess we are. <laughs> okay, shoot. All right, well, I'm going to have to go farm up some more carbon then to finish this. I figured I'd, I'd have enough with everything we had, but apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, no problem, no problem. That's okay, though. We can go ahead and continue uh, the quest anyway. And I'll probably just finish that off camera. Uh, we'll see, though. Let's just see how things go. So, here we go. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely gazette. A success. Recovered salvage data from nearby gazette. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Begin search. Extract plans. Whoever recorded those logs ev evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Okay, so we've got uh, the technology recovery, or the blueprint research device, rather. And we're going to need a little bit more magnetized ferrite and some more carbon nanotubes, too. Um, 
which means we've got to go farm up some more carbon anyway. So I guess what I'll do, guys, is let me go grab some more carbon, and we can actually make the magnetized ferrite now. Um, let's go here, and we've got a little bit. Let's just throw this pure ferrite in. And, uh, go grab some carbon here. So I will, um, I'll be back in just a little bit with some carbon, and we'll continue on. Don't go away. Okay, guys, uh, we are back, and we have, uh, farmed up a bunch of carbon. So I've got, uh, quite a few stacks there, as you can see. And, uh, does that give us enough now to make the, uh, blueprint analyzer? Let's take a look. We're just going to put that right inside the door right here. Let's go to the build menu, tech, um, portable. Uh, no, 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 no. I want research unit. Oh, research unit. Construction research unit. Yeah, it used to be called the blueprint analyzer, but now it's the construction research unit. Okay, so let's just pop this right by the door. That's probably pretty good right about there. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, that's right. I gotta make the carbon nanotubes. Always forgetting something, man. Okay, let's try this again. Build menu, portable, uh, construction research unit. Turn it this way just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, spin the salvage nature construction research unit to learn new construction blueprints. Okay. So, um, we have a bunch of salvage data. Analysis unit online dies a diagnostic suggestion users should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize analysis visor. We've already done that. Um, so let's research buildable technology. And we're going to start with the terminus. And we need metal plating and two carbon nanotubes for that. Okay. Let's do the save beacon for sure. I definitely want that. Uh, we'll do the biofuel reactor because we need that to open up all the rest of the stuff. And the wiring, of course. And the signal booster. The battery. And the solar panel. Okay, I'm not going to worry about this other stuff till later. So... Okay. Now, um... All that stuff pops in. Your base can be renamed, interact with your base computer to name your base. Okay, let's do that. One thing I've noticed, there's a bunch of ships just circling around here. They're probably waiting uh, for me to get my ship out of the way. But I'm not going to do that right yet. Because I'd like to actually see what they are once they do land. Okay, upload base, delete base. Here we go. Um, we're going to rename this... Uh, Oh, man, how am I going to do that in VR? <laughs> uh, they don't... There's no option to do this in VR. Like, it doesn't bring up a, a keyboard. Is my actual keyboard working? Nope. All right, that's something I guess I'll have to do um, later. Well, does the quest... I guess the quest wants me to do it, though, doesn't it? Okay, hold on. Let's leave the base. Uh, let's go into here. Awakenings. Explore the... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Explore the planet and expand your base. Expand your base with additional bear technology. I can't get that to scroll down any further. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Let's finish building the base, first of all. So that way we have a place to go to get rid of, get away from them stupid sentinels. Even though we can use, just pop in the station, but... Rather just get away from them inside the base itself. Part of the problem with doing this, as you can see, is it puts the kind of the ghost piece right in your face. When you do this in VR, so it's... 
Just a little weird. Just a little weird, man. Put that up there. That one can go up there. Whoa. VR goggles are freaking out on me. Alright, cool. So that takes care of the walls. Now we'll put the roof on. So we want roof. No, I said roof. Uh, wooden roof. What? Why does it keep doing that? Oh, I guess we have to select it from there. This game does not have structural integrity. Uh, most of the other survival games that I play do, like Imperial Galactic Survival and Seven Days to Die and Ark and all those games. But, uh, there we go. Okay, so we have made our box, basically. And we have our salvage computer up. Um, let me look at something. If we go into here, where is the little save point doohickey? Is it under general? No. Under portable. Oh, you know what? It, is the save beacon the new save point thing? It must be. Yeah, because I'm not seeing that anywhere else. Normally it would be under portable. You got the refiner, the base computer, the construction, research, the booster, and the save beacon. Okay, so this needs magnetized ferrite. No, not that. This. I keep forgetting I gotta select it from here. So that's just metal plating, two metal plating. Let's make one of those. Ah, doc, on it. We don't have. We don't have enough. Uh, can, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ferrite, ferrite dust. I was about ready to say powdered ferrite. Um, the base teleport module. Okay, so it actually wants us to make the base teleport module, which I was going to do anyway. But, um, well, can we do that? Actually, do we have everything we need for that. Let's take a look. General teleport module. Now nah, we still need. Uh, ferrite dust. Okay. Um, so... I guess we have to go grab some ferrite dust. Let's do it. Okay. Let's just run in the house and then he should leave us alone. In theory, anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. So, now we need to make um, two metal plates. I'm just going to get rid of this radon because it's not worth anything. Likewise, the nitrogen. Not worth anything to write. Oh, whoops. Right home to mother about. Um, let's see. Now, let's go ahead and... I think we needed four of these, right? For the... For the uh, terminus. And we're going to put that right in this corner here. Uh, craft carbon tubes. Oh, right. Okay. Two carbon tubes as well. It sounds like she's saying product instructed, not constructed. <laughs> uh, okay, now let's build the terminus. We want general and terminus. And we're just going to, like I said, we're going to put that right in the corner, right about there. Make sure it's as straight as we can get it. There we go. Alright, terminus is built. Supply power to the base module. Select powering the base in the mission log. Okay. So I guess they're now now they're giving us the specific base missions. But I think we still we need to do a couple more of these before we can advance awakenings, I believe. So let's keep working on that. I was gonna do that anyway. Alright, we're gonna put a we're gonna set up a bio generator. Um probably just one battery and probably just one solar panel. Um that's all I really need here, because I'm like I said, I'm not really planning on doing anything else uh, in this place. So we're gonna stick all of that stuff just right outside here. You know what I think I'll do though? 
I'm just making sure that guy's not going to come over here and give me a ha another hassle. Let's lay down some... Some more of these, just to kind of clear this grass out of here. Will you go away? I did not invite you to my party. You shot me right in the face. Rude. Okay, so let's just look and see what we need for the bio. Uh, Genie. Industrial power. Power. And biofuel reactor. So we need another metal plating for that. So let's get that made up. Okay. Right. You need to go, go the hell away. right there again. You know what? I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Okay. We've been, we're gonna have to... We gotta kill this guy on principle. He's pissing me off. Alright, come here. Oh. There. Now we just made things worse for ourselves, but that's okay. It makes me feel better. <laughs> um, okay, let's run back in here. All right, well, the timer went off anyway. So what basically, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a biofuel gener generator, um, a battery, and a solar panel uh, for the, the terminus here. And then I think, I think that's all we have to do uh, to advance awakenings, the main quest, because that's really all I want to do. Uh, for the most part. But I think I will go ahead and build a, a save point beacon too. Um, let's look at that. Portable. Save beacon. So we need one more metal plate. We'll just do that while those stupid guys are... Oh, doggone it, we're out of ferrite dust again. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, so... We'll build a save point beacon, we'll build a biogenerator, we'll build a solar panel and a battery. And I'm going to put those right outside where I cleared all the, the ground out there. I'm a menace. Destroyed 40 sentinels. Nice. And um, then, then, like I said, after that we should be able to advance the next quest. That's hopefully what will happen here. Um, if you guys are brand new to the game and you've never seen that, it's basically just a matter of going into the power menu, um, selecting the battery, so I'm gonna have to farm up some magnetized ferrite for that, and you know, setting the battery out there, and then the reactor, same thing, we'll set that outside, and then the solar panels. And I've got a bunch of gold sitting in the ship waiting for that, so I'll set those three things up, we'll get them wired uh, into the terminus, and then, like I said, hopefully that will advance the next quest. Okay? But anyway, we are out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, and leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. And we will see you all in the next episode. Take care, guys.